Hey guys, Flake here. I have another deck for you guys to try out. Not tier one, but still a lot of fun. So I will now present to you Golem Surprise. All right, so it's a silly name for a deck that really plays around one or two aspects towards the end of the game to kind of give you a little jolt of points and give you the win. Again, short rounds, typically preferable, but you don't necessarily have to, to go for it. But it's a very specific sort of end game that you want to uh, work for here. So we'll go through the list and I'll tell you how it works. So we'll start with the bronzes all the way down here. And what do we start with? Well, two slave drivers. I have one cutthroat two Nausicaa Sergeants. Uh, here, we'll go through it. So two Slave Drivers. Again, there's going to be a lot of locks on the board, so uh, these get some extra value. Uh, Cutthroat, just it's a five-point um, for provision card. Uh, I've got two Nausicaa Sergeants, easy for provision engine piece to give you some extra points if unanswered. I have the one Infiltrator. Uh, it could be an easy drop in round two if uh, you need to just drop in and pass. Uh, otherwise, it's just uh, it's filler. It's not really all that fantastic, but you got to throw some four provision stuff in there. All right, two Alba armored cavalry lock down the engines. Make sure that you're uh, not getting uh, owned by anything that's kind of ticking away at you. I've got one Nilf guardian knight, easy to drop on turn one if necessary, or to give things reach for your Leo. I've got two Impera brigades. Of course, you play two. This is just a thin, give you some extra points. Six points uh, uh, on the board if necessary. I've got two Slave Infantry. Now, Slave Infantry is a card that I, I like to play besides the fact that it uh, can get you some solid value, but it also is very good to protect against uh, Gregoire. Uh, Gregoire, once you see you're uh, on your side of the board, you're down to one a one strength unit you can usually assume that a gregoire is coming if he's really working at you to make sure that you have a unit that is gregoire worthy the slave infantry is really good at sort of taking that out of his range slave infantry is a great counter to gregoire uh the gregoire setup so got two of those in there which are great uh and that's the that's the bronze package now let's go down the list of other things all right i have albrick now albrick is there to play on round three now keep that in mind he is not there typically uh ideally rather he's there for round three if you want to make sure that things work out so albrick to put something on top of the deck with a boost of two i've got fisher king as well just to make sure that you're in the cards you need uh drop this early round one or uh just drop it in round two to make sure you get what you want uh let's see now ox obviously with the uh, uh support of Serret and letho now obviously you know how these go um depends on what you're playing against sometimes you want to favor the five damage for Serret, keeping ox in hand but sometimes if you're playing it's a lot of thrive units uh hitting ox on engines uh like kenwani revenants or uh, neckers or anything that has you know typical amounts of thrive that you can assume there's gonna be a lot of ox can work out as well again this also boosts your slave driver for extra damage a sire now a sire is a standard procedure for this is you're going to be getting roach back with this in round three if you can otherwise she's pretty uh saucy to just throw down uh for points um in round two if you got to bleed or do what you got to do but a sire is not uh is not the uh the focal point of this deck necessarily she's just a solid nine points for eight uh when you already have roach out Alrighty, uh, let's go up to, so if we saw Roach, we got Roach in here. And now Leo, Leo is just um, easy peasy to just drop down a, a, a big swing play. If you're uh, playing against a monsters deck that goes tall or another, um, you know, another deck. This, this card in round one is pretty good. Uh, if you're on red coin to just swing down and um, hit your opponent with this like we're depending on where they put their tactical advantage or what they're boosting up this could really turn the tides if they pass on you uh to just steal it on even leo bonhart is not a finisher in this deck as much as he is more so a uh a round one play to kind of take the round now you could play him late game if you want to throw him back in the deck with a sire and uh you know fish for him later but uh it's definitely um uh, worth playing this card early as well so then we have of course vivian now vivian is a great card because she gets some solid point value off of her what she's going to be pairing up with is typically most people play vivian with roach but we are going to play vivian with either roach 
or we're gonna play Vivian with our good friend, where is he? Vilgefortz. Vilgefortz is also a seven point uppity on, uh, uh, with Vivian. So you have targets with uh, your Vivian. It's Vilgefortz, it's um, Roach, so you do have options. Now I will just briefly go through the strategy of how this deck works. Now you're gonna be burning uh, a lot of these bronze cards as much as possible. You wanna be uh, aggressively mulliganing, mulliganizing, mulliganing, I don't know, either way. Um, basically your ideal last hand has Vilgefortz, Vivian, and potentially something like Fisher King or Albrecht. The reason why is the way that this deck ends up going is you're gonna be playing your, um, you're going to be putting uh, your playing your Albrecht or your Fisher King to put Imperial Golem on top of your deck. So what that does is Imperial Golem goes on for 11 and uh, on top of your deck in round three. And then what you're going to be doing is as you're sort of trading damage back and forth or making plays, you're most likely going to be using your uh, Vilgefortz to burn a, a unit, play them on the range row, burn your own unit, and that pops out a 13 point with uh, with Albrecht, a 13 point, uh, where is it? Where are you, big daddy? Uh, a 13 point Imperial Golem onto, the, onto a row, which is great because that is just a crap ton of points that your opponent usually cannot match or cannot uh, get a tempo with. Um, but at the same time, you're then gonna be playing your Vivian uh, you're going to be dropping your Vivian to go right on board and match up with that Vilgefortz. So those two cards together, Vilgefortz uh, is going to be worth 11 points and your um, your Imperial Golem is going to be worth 13 with the Albrecht. Now, there is a way to sort of save the day and it's one of the bronze cards that I did not mention yet because I want to talk to you about Vico Varo Novice. Now, it's a five provision four point card that Draw, you play on the range row, you draw a card and put another card on top of the deck. Should you get stuck with Imperial Golem in hand or you want to make sure that you can uh, fix, uh, fix uh, you know, putting things back in the deck that are necessary, you can always, uh, if you are, you know, SOL, the, the Vico Novice can go ahead and put the Imperial Golem uh, on top of the deck at the uh, in your round three if necessary to go ahead and set up the combo of Vilgefortz and all that stuff. And then finally, if necessary, you have Jan Calvit to sort of add a little extra uh, gusto towards the end. So there's the deck. It is Golem Surprise, and I played it, and it's a lot of fun. Can get the kick, crap kicked out of it in several different ways, but it also wins in some spectacular fashion. So if you like big flashy plays and interesting combos, here's one for you. I, uh, I suggest you try Golem Surprise. So that's it. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, don't expect to win a ton of games. This is not going to get you to pro rank. It's just going to get you a good time. So make sure that you uh, go ahead and hit the follow button here uh, or subscribe button, I would say, on YouTube. Catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash watchflake or on Twitter at watchflake. If you enjoy this deck, go ahead, drop your comments and uh, yeah, have a good time. Be kind to one another and see you very soon. Adios.